Howdy, I'm Deborah, and I'm here to talk to you today about AWS again, this time about delegating IAM privileges and how IAM works in a DevOpsy world. Um, so most people start with one account that all their dev teams might use. They'll create random resources in there, some compute instances, some Lambda, some databases, whatever else they want. It's all just a big mixed batch of a bunch of different things. And sometimes they're named kind of similarly. And so, or maybe they just appear next to each other in the console. So bad things happen, things get deleted. Um, one of the solutions for this is Terraform. So Terraform's really great. You start fresh with a whole new AWS account and then give people Terraform repos a pipeline to manage all their resources so they don't step over each other. It's a little bit of training, but it usually helps. The dev teams feel really empowered. They can manage their own resources. They're not waiting on anyone else. Um, but then eventually they're gonna wanna, they created their compute instances or their Lambda functions, and they need IAM roles for them. IAM is really hard. If you delegate this with Terraform, they're just gonna give them admin access or something. Some, sometimes they do it right, they do least privilege, but sometimes it's admin access and so say they had a automation that turns off all of their instances overnight to save money. How much do you trust that they won't accidentally turn off everything? Yeah, so we don't want them to have that. We asked AWS, hey, what's the recommendation? They recommend a multi-account strategy. So here we've got a whole bunch of AWS accounts now. One for each team, they can manage their own resources can still use Terraform, but they'll all have their own account. And since IAM is isolated to the account, for the most part, then it's pretty good. Um, the problem with this is that it turns out that they were actually all relying on resources in other accounts. Like account four here needs access to a bucket in account two. There's all kinds of stuff like that. And cross account access is even harder. And so a lot of times, they'll take shortcuts. And you might get something like this. They just make the S3 bucket public. Problem solved. And you can do that with pretty much any resource. S3 is, of course, the most popular one. And so, yeah, we, we ask AWS, hey, you've got to give us something better than this. Um, within the past year, they finally came out with a brand new feature, which is I'm really interested in, called permissions boundaries. And this gives you're allowed to delegate a maximum set of permissions to someone. So I can say, hey, Jesse, here's your permissions boundary. That's the max you can create, use for any IAM roles. And they'll create, a <coughs> they'll create a policy inside that. Everything is totally fine. They try to give something admin access, and they ha they're using that permissions boundary. Well, most of the access just won't work for them. But the part that they should have access to, that'll work totally fine. Um, so yeah, here's an example. It's okay if they create this, they can create it EC2 terminate instances over all resources. That's totally fine as long as they have the permission boundary attached. And so here you see this might be in the permission boundary. Yeah, they can, they can terminate any instances as long as it has the tag for their team on it. So we know that they own it. You need some other tag management in there too. But a really cool thing is that you can also use the tag of the person that you delegated to, that principal tag, make sure it matches up to the resource tag. And rather than creating different boundaries for everyone, they, you just use the same boundary. Um, of course, if this doesn't work out, we can go to the other solution that our security and compliance teams are okay with, which is that there is one central team that manually approves all changes. No. Um, so, yeah, there's a balance between red tape and running with scissors, and permissions boundary seems like a nice middle ground. Um, we're just getting started with this, so I'm interested in hearing experiences from anyone else, or if you have any better suggestions, we're going to try to set up an open session later. So come stop on by, and thanks for listening to my talk.